Are you able to maintain balance in your life? I think this is a challenge for most of us. Stay tuned and learn what the Two of Pentacles can teach us about juggling priorities. Hi everybody, I'm Sue Allen Clayton. Welcome to my channel where we'll be learning the tarot deck one card at a time. Today's video is about the Two of Pentacles. This video will begin with a short description of the card. Next, I'll briefly explain what this card means when it appears in a reading. Then we'll talk about what each element symbolizes and what the card means when it shows up in both the upright and reversed position in a reading. I'll share some examples from my life so you can relate to the card in a real-world situation. And stay tuned until the end and I'll give you several questions to help you connect with the card. I will be using the Rider Waite Tarot in this video. You'll find the link to the deck below, as well as to the many books that I've used in my research. So let's get started. In the Two of Pentacles we see a man wearing a red hat, red shirt, red belt, and red leggings. He has on an orange tunic with a scalloped button closure and a jagged hem. He's wearing green shoes. He is juggling two gold pentacles in a green figure eight loop. The upper pentacle is resting on the palm of his right hand. He is holding the lower pentacle in his left hand and gazing at it. Behind him we see rocky waters with two ships. The larger ship has red and yellow sails, and the smaller ship has red and white sails. The ground is gray and flat. He appears to be dancing. The sky is blue. When the Two of Pentacles appears in a reading, it means that you are juggling a lot in your life and are working hard to maintain balance based on what is most important to you. You are experiencing rapid changes in your life that require you to adapt, prioritize, and be flexible. You are navigating the ups and downs in life and have managed to stay afloat. You have at least two options and you need to make a choice. It can represent relocation or travel. And finally, it can represent that you need to accept that struggling to maintain balance is a part of life and you need to enjoy the journey. Some authors believe that this guy is dancing and enjoying life despite the challenges. Let's talk about the symbolism in the Two of Pentacles. We see a man wearing a tall red hat. This hat emphasizes that his mind is very active, but he has yet to take any action. There are lots of opinions on the origin of the hat. Liz Dean, in her book The Ultimate Guide to Tarot, believes this is an acorn hat. You can see a picture on the screen painted by Tura around 1475. According to Liz Dean, acorn hats were worn by artisans and courtiers in the 15th century, but were usually shorter than that of the juggler. She believes that his hat was purposefully elongated by Pamela Coleman Smith, the illustrator of the deck, to emphasize thinking. It could also signify that he is deluded or big-headed, which means that he is arrogant or conceited. Joanna Feibig and Evelyn Berger, in their book The Ultimate Guide to the rider Waite Tarot, say that the hat looks like a rooster's comb and might suggest ego, too much zeal, and haughtiness. Angie Green, in her book, Simple Tarot Card Meanings, refers to this as a condom hat. It's not hard to see the resemblance, so I wanted to mention it here. I did some research to see if a condom hat had some sort of historical context, and I don't believe it does. All I could find were condom hats for bachelor parties, which I didn't know was a thing. He's wearing a red shirt, red belt, and red leggings. Red is all about passion, action, and love, so it is clear that juggling is keeping him very busy. He has on an orange tunic with a scalloped button closure and a jagged hem. Orange is a combination of the active red and the positive yellow. It is a card about balance. The fancy buttons show that his clothes are expensive and he is a man of some means. The rich look is balanced out by a ragged hem that is in sharp contrast to the rest of the outfit. It may demonstrate that he is a man of contradictions or that the juggling is fraying his nerves. He is juggling two gold pentacles in a figure eight style loop 
which is called a Lemnus Gate. We also see the Lemnus Gate in the Magician card, which is number one, and the Strength card, which is number eight. The Lemnus Gate symbolizes infinity, so it appears that this balancing act of pentacles has been going on for a long time. The Lemnus Gate is green and he's wearing green shoes. Green is the color of health, growth, and adventure. Behind him we see rocky waters with two ships. The larger ship has red and yellow sails, and the smaller ship has red and white sails. This indicates that the ships are navigating rough waters and represents the ups and downs of life. He is standing on flat, gray ground that appears to be a stage. Gray is about neutrality and uncertainty. The flat ground indicates that he is in a stable position. In tarot, stage cards can represent people who are pretending to be something they are not, also known as acting, or can represent a distance from the rest of the world. Regardless, he seems oblivious of the rough seas that are behind him. It's hard to tell if he is dancing or just raising his left leg to try and stay balanced. Some authors believe that this card shows someone who can juggle and dance at the same time, so this card is about enjoying the experience because juggling is a big part of life. Given my personal struggles with balancing, I interpret the raised leg as showing that he's working hard to stay balanced. Note how he is holding the pentacles. The upper pentacle is resting on the palm of his hand while he is gripping the lower pentacle. I think that this is often how we maintain balance when we can't focus 100% on everything. So he's letting whatever the right hand represents just hang out. He's gazing at the coin in his left hand, so that is the object of his current focus. I interpret this as meaning that, even when you are multitasking, you can only focus on one thing at a time. The sky is blue, which represents clarity. When this card appears in an upright position, it means that you are working hard to maintain balance. You are juggling things that might include your time, finances, relationships, work projects, health issues, chores, and dozens of other items. The fact that he's juggling within an infinity loop indicates that these are not issues that are going to go away, or that he has become very, very skilled and has been juggling these things for a long time. I think about this all the time when I am doing chores. I get the mail opened, bills paid, dinner cooked, the dishwasher loaded, and the laundry done. And guess what? It starts all over again. It reminds me of that Emma Bombeck quote that cleaning the house while the children are home is like shoveling snow while it's still snowing. And that's pretty much what life is like. The Two of Pentacles can indicate that you need to prioritize and focus on what is most important. Note that the guy in the card is not focusing on both pentacles. He's chosen the one closest to the ground that he's more likely to drop. If you've read any time management books, they almost all say the same thing. Choose what is most important and don't get sidetracked by what is unimportant but can feel urgent. Pentacles are often about money and careers, so this card can indicate that you're trying to balance your finances and make sure that you still have money to pay the mortgage in your student loans. Or you might also be trying to juggle projects at work or having issues working with a partner. The Two of Pentacles in the upright position is a reminder that we need to adapt and be flexible. There is always a challenge when you're already struggling to keep many balls in the air. For instance, you think that you're successfully balancing your family and career, and then your kid wakes up with a fever and, instead of giving the presentation you've worked so hard on, you spend the morning at urgent care learning that your child has strep throat. There is really a lightness about this card, given his funny hat, weird costume, and possible dance moves. It is a reminder to approach your balancing act with a sense of humor. You will eventually drop a ball, and you can choose to laugh or cry. And it's better to laugh. Here's an example of the upright card from my life, and it's about my struggles with balance and multitasking. I am not a person who does well with juggling multiple things at once. When I was running my business, I always envied people who would carve up their day into different sections. I was a writer, so let's use that as an example. The people I envied would write from 9 until noon and then take a lunch break. Then in the afternoon, they would spend an hour on marketing an hour on accounting, 
an hour working on their website, and then the final 30 minutes of the day handling email. So they never really got behind in any specific area. I was never that person. When I had a writing project, I'd work on it nonstop until it was done and ignore everything else. If someone hacked my website, that would become my priority and the writing would go by the wayside until my website was fixed. For many years, I ignored my accounting until quarterly taxes were due and then spent days trying to figure out how much I earned and how much I owed the IRS. Everything always got done, but I felt like I should be spreading out the work more evenly. I'm the same way with home life and hobbies. If I'm working on a quilt, I want to devote all my time to quilting versus working on it for an hour after dinner. Same with the cluttering. I'd rather devote a day every few months to decluttering than spend 10 minutes a day and get rid of 10 items. As we discussed earlier, the guy on this card is focused on doing one thing at a time, which is what I do, but I definitely had the expectation that I would be better off if I did a bit each day, even though that is really not the message of this card. When the Two of Pentacles appears in a reversed position, it means that you are unbalanced and feel like you are no longer on solid ground. It can mean that you are losing control. Look at the ships in the background that were managing to stay on the top of the stormy seas. Now they are falling off. This might mean that you've lost control of your finances or are unable to cope in other areas of your life. That you are overwhelmed and have overextended yourself. You are trying to juggle too many things that you are being irresponsible or unfocused. And finally, it can represent a partnership that has ended, likely because of financial problems. Here's an example of the reverse two of pentacles from my life, and it's about being totally overwhelmed. In July 2001, my husband and two children and I traveled from Phoenix, Arizona to visit my family in Toronto, Canada. At that point, my kids were three and seven years old. We landed at the airport, and on our way to the hotel, we got hit by a tractor-trailer truck. It totaled our brand-new rented minivan. We were shaken up, and I had whiplash, but it was a miracle that we all survived. We went back to Phoenix a week later, just before my kids started school. I was still pretty sore and shaken, and immediately my husband left for a business trip to Europe and was gone for a couple of weeks. He got back home just a couple of days before 9-11. I still remember that combination of being physically injured and emotionally stressed. In addition to whiplash, I started having stomach problems and was soon diagnosed with celiac disease. This is an autoimmune disease in which your body attacks gluten, which is a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye, in your small intestine. Celiac disease is genetic, but it is usually triggered by some sort of stress. So here I was, recovering from a car accident, taking care of the kids who were starting school, dealing with the trauma of 9-11, recovering from severe stomach problems, and trying to figure out a whole new diet where I couldn't eat wheat, barley, or rye. It was a very difficult time in my life, and an example of the fact that there is only so much one person can juggle. Here are some questions to help you connect with the Two of Pentacles. Number one, how do you select between choices? Number two, what parts of your life do you juggle effectively? In what parts of your life are you overwhelmed? Number three, is there a way to create more balance in your life? Number four, how do you handle feeling unbalanced and overwhelmed? Number five, do you make time to relax? And finally, number six, do you feel like you enjoy the journey of balancing or are you just trying to get to the end of your chore list? So I hope this has helped you connect with the Two of Pentacles. Please join me for the next video, which is the Three of Pentacles.